Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Duck Station. Now these ain't the best settings that you can get for the emulator because that all comes down to preference. But in this video I'm going to show you how to just get it up and running, play a game, and play it in HD. So what you want to do is you want to grab the files in the description for both FTP and Duck Station. Then you want to open your browser and go to the device portal and type in https colon slash slash and then the IP followed by colon 11443. Now this IP is obviously going to be different. So what you do is you go on your Xbox, go down to Dev Home. Now in the bottom right corner is where I got my IP address. Type that into the browser up at up at the top of this like I said um, and it'll say uh, there's a security issue or whatever just hit continue and you'll get to this it's not a big deal um, then you, what you want to do is you want to go to add go to choose duck station hit next start it now I already have FTP installed so I don't really need to show that in this video but just go to add FTP next see it's right there so alright after that go on your Xbox uh, scroll down to duck station press the back button which is right beside the start button I always call it back button because of 360 <laughs> back button go down to view details switch to game then press B now, my games and apps, and it should be right there. Launch it up. All right. Now that it's launched, all the files are on your Xbox. Go to exit. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up FTP. Start that up. Leave it alone. Or leave like all the settings alone. Hit start. Once you started the FTP, open your favorite FTP manager thing. I'm going to use Flash FXP because I've always used that for original Xbox and everything else. But you can use whatever. Any uh, FTP program you want. <laughs> Go to Quick Connect, then type in 192.168.2.3. Well, and hit enter. It'll connect to your Xbox One. Go to local folder, then go to um, 57BC, go to local state. Now this is where you want to transfer your BIOS. Now I'm going to go to my hard drive because I have BIOS for RetroArch on here. Now what, if you have the BIOS, just type in SC now you see this list right here. Now a lot of the a lot of this list is like PS2 and PS1. <laughs> I think really all you need is just this, honestly. Like don't even don't even worry about that other stuff. Go to BIOS and then right click transfer. So BIOS are now on the PlayStation. And you can also move uh, covers over for your games. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, but you can also check your save stages, memory cards. You can put your games in here if you want. I'm going to use external hard drive in this tutorial. Um, textures, whatever. Everything's everything's all good to go from here for this tutorial. Now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to stop this. Go back. Uh, go to games and I'm gonna open up duck station Now I'm gonna switch my hard drive over because my games are on it I'm gonna Take it out of my PC Put it in my Xbox I Gotta wait for it to launch up Use an external hard drive Just a fat 32 Actually, I think it's NTFS. Anyways, <laughs> scroll down, go to settings. That's the first thing you want to do. Um, the bumpers move move this at the top. 
So I'm going to go over to this. And I'm going to change the internal resolution to 1080 because my P my TV can only do that much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to change this to bilinear because I think it looks better. Uh, widescreen hack, keep that off. Um, yeah. Go down to PGXP Geometry Correction. Turn that on. Now, some games are going to have issues with this, so you got to just have to keep messing about with this. So that's why I said there's nothing, no perfect setting or whatever. But if you just want HD and wobbly textures and all this stuff to look, you know, better <laughs> than original, just leave it on like that. Now, there's other stuff you can change like aspect ratio I'm gonna change it to 16 by 9 and uh, I think everything else you want to leave default it, it all comes down to preference really like I could have I could turn on a fast forward button I could turn on save states and all this but I'm not gonna do that in this video all you do is you press a on it and you map the button um, now for bios and stuff, just leave it on auto detect. It'll detect which bios, so you don't have to like, oh, well now I don't know which one. All right, so I'm just looking myself. Can enable rewind and all this. Um, auto detect region. Oh, okay. Good thing we didn't forget about that. Okay. Go to, um, this is where you add your ROMs, the game list settings. Go to add search directory. Go to parent directory and just keep tapping A until you see the top. Go to um, E or D on retail. I'm on E because I'm on, it's E because I'm on dev mode. I'm going to choose where my games are, PlayStation. I'm going to use this directory. Now it's going to scan for my games. Okay. Now, all this stuff, like I said, you're going to have to see what you want because it's all down to preference. Other than that, it's all set up. It's all set up to look good. Of course, like if you want it 4K, just bump this up. It even goes higher. <laughs> I'm 16, dude. Anyways, press B, go to open game list. Now I'm going to go down to Crash Bandicoot 1. I'm going to press A on it. Now it's going to do its compiling of whatever, compiling pipelines, whatever that entirely means. I don't know. Probably like shaders and different things to make it look good. Now, it looks like it's going to take a while, but it won't. It, it'll, it'll, it'll go a little faster. <laughs> Don't, no fast forward needed in this video. Now, the controller will automatically uh, set to analog stick. Now, the reason why my game goes to this is because it's my my ROM is edited to have a trainer menu but anyways <laughs> just start it up Oh, look at those graphics. Amazing. And that's only 1080. Which by TV can only do 720. At the moment. <laughs> but it still looks good, I can tell. Now, like I said before, every game is going to have different... Uh, complaints like Spyro for example PGXP 
at least unless there's another setting that I didn't find, um, it like warps the audio. And just different things like that, like maybe some games will, won't will like the wobble effect turned on or whatever to fix it. But we're up and running, you know? Plays great, I could use my thumbstick. Press the back button, it goes, brings up the menu, fast forward. Save state, load state, or you can set up uh, hotkeys in the settings. Oh, uh, Duck Station comes in, comes with built-in cheats, so you can go to cheat list and you can turn on whatever in here. So that's that's cool. You don't have to download cheats or anything like that. You can change disk this way, and you know, just different things. Um, so I, I hope that helped you guys out, because, uh, you know, new emulator, new things to learn. Um, I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.